Okay, I'm walking the grounds at uh, Manassas, or Bull Run as northerners like to call it. Um, this is the famous ridge over here where Stonewall Jackson got his nickname. Um, my feeling here is uh, my great-grandfather was a Jewish hardware store owner in Rome, Georgia, and he had 11 slaves, and he his store was confiscated. He freed his nine adult slaves, and he took two uh, black kids uh, to war with him. And uh, he, uh, Joe Johnson was here at this battle, but he wasn't with Joe Johnson then. He uh, got captured at Vicksburg and then was paroled by Grant and then joined Joe Johnson at uh, Battle of Lookout Mountain, Battle of Kennesaw Mountain, and Battle of Stone Mountain. And he got shot in the head at the Battle of Stone Mountain, which was a good thing in those days because most of the body wounds were deadly from infection. Um, and they put a silver plate in his head. And they, when he got back to the two black kids, took him all the way back from Stone Mountain to Rome, Georgia, and he lived. And he couldn't get married to anyone. Who would marry? Because when he got back to his store, it had been burned to the ground. There was just a chimney left. So uh, who would marry a Jew with a hole in his head with no assets, no, no store? Well, it was a Cherokee woman. Uh, so that's the story of my family. And he freed the two uh, black kids after the war, of course, with the Emancipation Proclamation. And Lincoln said here, we are baptized in blood forever, uh, born to a new freedom, um, a new birth of freedom. And th the strange story of where I was this morning with Mahmoud, Mahmoud, the registered agent of the Awan brothers, a uh, murder for hire man, um, sends two MS-13 gang members down to Richmond, strangles and suffocates a car dealer, um, Muslim car dealer, a very prominent member of the Muslim community down there. The killers come back here to Manassas to change their clothes and get their $6,000 or other $6,000 payment from Mahmoud. This isn't why we came to this ground and baptized it in blood to be together forever um, uh, for a new birth and freedom. This isn't what we died for. So I just want to remind maybe Americans maybe about that for a minute and just think we don't need Pakistani intelligence organizing murders here. We really just need to appreciate each other as Americans. And today I want to shout out to those two black kids who got my great grandfather back to that, his home because I would have never been if they hadn't done that. We're all Americans, and that's the important thing. So, sorry, I'm a little philosophical here, but I just uh, wanted to say that.